Cape Bowling Green. This is what the tip of the cape looks like. It's just there. And it wraps all the way around. Just keeps on going. We're just getting ready because we're going to head over to the beach and let the kids run around because Rennie's a bit out of thoughts. <laughs> How'd we go today, babe? Even though it was only about 48 hours since we stepped foot on the ground, it seemed even more surreal at this place. So barren, with nothing around, it seemed as though we just stepped on the moon. The kids enjoyed it regardless and it gave them time to explore and stretch their legs. We're the Sings. We are a family of four who sold our house, bought a car and a caravan and set off travelling around Australia. We didn't get too far and then we decided it would be fun to explore by sea. So we bought a boat, a 35 foot catamaran with very little sailing experience we are in for the adventure of a lifetime. As Helen Keller says, life is either a daring adventure or nothing. We hope you enjoy our videos. Huh? What's happening? So it's, babe, it's bright. It's called to six. We're just about to leave Cape Bowling Green. I've been up since 4 a.m. waiting for the sun to come up. Let's go. <laughs> Just starting to get a little bit light outside. Headsail out. I'm going to show you here on the chart. We've just that little pink line is our line, so that's our boat there. Just headed around the Cape, and we're currently in 14.8 meters of water. Just going to head up this way, and then we're going to come all the way down here, all the way down to either this Cape or hopefully down here to Abbot Bay. Richard's rod and we just snapped off a decent fish for sand bite on Laura's rod. Anyway, I don't know whether it was my fault or the grey or a bit of both. Oh, and out this side we've got the traditional spoon and then we've also got the teaser out the middle. The, um, the aloe vera bottle teaser. Um, <laughs> Dan Brown. 
Alright, let's cook it. <laughs> the wind's dropped out a bit and well is kind of just a bit more uniform now, so it's pretty nice. And it's Cape Upstart, that's our stop for tonight, hopefully. Looks like dinner. Got a fish babe. Yeah, finally. How exciting. What do we got? What is it? Ceviche. Ooh, yummy. Well, ceviche. We got into the boat less than an hour ago, but how long was it on the water? <laughs> Back in the boat an hour ago. And look at the water. Just a little nice swell now. This is Cape Upstart. That's where we're going to anchor tonight. What do you reckon, Ben? Did you try some of the fish? How is it down? It's good. Delicious. My favourite way to eat fish these days. Yeah, same. Try so that. tender. Delicious. Yeah. What do we have? Oh, oh shark, gotcha. Eric's caught a shark. Look at you go. We're just at Upstart Bay. There's our boat out there. Yeah, the bay here is called Shark Bay. Eric likes that. Just come over in our tender. Kids are exploring. There's houses and everything here. It's pretty cool. What do I believe? What makes me feel it? To write you this song Two hours a You got it! You got it! What is it? What is it? Oh, I loved you Help too me. long Oh! Nice! Yeah. You keep I don't know if you got here What a fish <laughs> We're like, oh, it's a massive one. He's like bending the buckle of the rod over. It's because he's dragging it up by a chance. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is special. Just cast it out. Shark mackerel for today. And some chips. Cooked on the barbecue. Alright, it's 4.30 in the morning. We're at Cape Upstart and we're going to start <laughs> our journey. <laughs> Not up though, we're going down south. Starting from upstart to go down. Oh, I am such a comedian at 4.30 in the morning. We ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Let's go, you do the anchor. Let's finish my coffee first. I only woke up to Ren twice. You're a superhuman. <laughs> I don't feel, don't feel like I've slept very much. 